Praise the Lord. I don't have much time, so this is going to be very brief, but I really want us to address something important here today. You see, there is a problem, a very simple but huge problem that is affecting the lives of many people out there, including some of us sitting here in church today. And it is one of the major causes of depression, anxiety, and sometimes even the lack of faith in God. And I believe this time we all look into it before it actually gets out of hand. Now let me assume that every single person here was once a student, whether in primary school, secondary school, or higher institution, and obviously here some of us are still students, right? Let's assume for a second that this church is a classroom and we are all students. And then the pastor gave us a test, and after the test, the script was shared back to all of us. And then, sir, when you checked your script, you saw that you had 7 over 10, right? And then you went around the entire class to check every other student's script. I realized that every single person here scored less than 5 over 10. That it was only you who had 7 over 10. How would you feel? You feel good. You feel proud, right? You feel great. Yes, you've achieved something good, right? Now, let's picture a second scenario where the script was shared, you checked your script, you had 7 over 10, and then when you went around the entire class to check every other person's script, you realized that every single person scored 8 over 10 and above. 8, 9, 10. It was only you who had 7. How would you feel then? You feel terrible, right? You want to quickly hide the script in your bag and zoom off and go home. <laughs> now, notice from the two scenarios that the same 7, seven over 10 made you feel good in the first instance. But now it's making you feel terrible, making you feel bad, right? Now if you picture that for a second, you realize that the reason you were happy here and sad here was because of one word, comparison. Everybody say comparison. Now, the 7 over 10 did not change, but you only felt happy or sad based on who you compared yourself with. And that is what is happening in our life today, you see, we tend to have value for what we have or lose value for what we have based on the people we are comparing ourselves with. You have a job where you earn well and live comfortably and then tomorrow you meet an old classmate of yours who now owes a Mercedes Benz and then all of a sudden you are not be happy with your life anymore. See, when your source of happiness and pride depends on becoming like other people or having more than other people, then you begin to lose connection with the natural seed of happiness planted in all of us by our maker. And when that connection is lost, we are prone to falling into depression, anxiety, and we begin to question God. Especially when you think that other people around you are doing better than you or living better than you. You see, a lot of us are unhappy today, not because we're in lack or we don't have what it takes to be happy, but because we're too blinded by comparison that we fail to see and appreciate the value of the things we currently have in our lives. A couple of months ago, I asked a group of people to choose between these two options. And I said, would you prefer a scenario where you earn 200,000 Naira monthly and all your friends and the people you know earn below 100,000 Naira? Or would you like a situation where you earn 500,000 Naira monthly and all your friends and the people you know and above 2 million naira. <laughs> Surprisingly, 90% of them went for the first option. And even some of us seated here are thinking about it as well. You see, that day I realized that people don't mind earning less as long as what they have is more valuable than what other people have. So it means that what we have or don't have is not our problem. Our problem is we just can't stand other people doing better than us and that is dangerous. So for us to have a blessed and fruitful year ahead, we need to begin to disconnect ourselves from the negative mindset of comparison, especially when your happiness depends on it. And if we can't learn to appreciate who we are and what we have, regardless of other people, then we don't deserve to be happy. Because happiness is a gift from God to everyone, and comparison is the biggest threat to that gift. We are all entitled to have smiling faces every single day. But to have that, we must learn to say no to comparison in our life. God bless you all.